Good morning, Fab family. How goes it? All right, this is Antoinette Williams, the founder of Fab, personal growth and development. Fab stands for focus, attitude, behavior. Focus on what you want, on what you desire. Know that it's yours and it's on its way and you can have anything you want, okay? Changing that attitude means going from negative to positive. Yeah, having an attitude of gratitude means that you appreciate all that you have while you are still excited for what's to come. Okay. Yeah. And let's change our behavior. Mm -hmm. Change the way we walk, change the way we talk, changing that mindset because we know that change begins within. Okay. Speaking of change, right? Let's discuss. Let's discuss change. Sometimes there are clues to when things will change, right? And if you pay attention to the clues, then you don't have to get ready because you're already ready, right? So we know that the seasons change. So when you start to see the leaves fall off, then we know autumn is upon us, okay? When we notice that it gets a little colder, we know that winter is coming. Mm -hmm. And then when we start to see, you know, little grass starts growing, okay, little flowers start coming back out, spring is coming. And when it gets a little warmer, we know that summer is coming. So we know that this is what happens, right? So may I ask, why are we so surprised when it comes to life, right? We know that technology is constantly evolving and changing. So either you will adapt and get with the changes or you will get left behind, right? And if you think I'm talking crazy, let's just look at a few places, a few businesses that, that are no longer here, okay? Yeah, when I was a kid, I enjoyed going to Blockbuster, Hollywood Video. It was like a good family time to go rent a video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's when we had VCRs. Uh I don't know where you can purchase a VCR, but I can also tell you that Blockbuster is not here. Why? Because they did not keep up with the times, okay? Once upon a time, Kmart was the spot to go to, okay? Yeah, you had Kmart, you had Walmart. Where is Kmart now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am sharing these things because I need you to really think about your life, right? And remember how things used to be when you were a child, when you were a teenager, when you were in your 20s, and now you see how different things are. Well, love, number one, your body will change. Yeah, you will not always look the same, okay? Mm -hmm. As you get older, all right, uh, to whom much is given, much is required. Yeah, so you have to step your game up. This is why in my house, there can only be one queen of the castle, okay? Because it costs to be the boss, and I'm the one who pays it. Mm -hmm. so with this being said, you should be ready. I have come across many a people <laughs> that state, oh, I can't wait to retire. And my question is, and then what? Oh, I just don't want to work. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because I'm going to, going to tell you something, love. If you stop moving and grooving, if you stop growing, if you're not growing, <laughs> you're dying, okay? It's like having a beautiful car, all right? I need you to picture the most luxurious car, and it's beautiful, and it just sits there. Year after year, it just sits. It just sits. And we're not even going to say it sits in the garage. I'm talking about it sits in the backyard and sits. And while life is changing and the seasons are changing and time is passing, it's just sitting there and it's not being used. You know what's going to happen? It'll probably rust out because it's not being used. Because if you don't use it, you will lose it. So love, take some inventory in your life, okay? Yeah, what is still working for you and what is no longer working? It's okay, to adjust and be flexible to change. It's going to happen. And honestly, work on yourself. Why? Because change begins within. And that means changing that negative to a positive, okay? I was reading a book and it was a compilation book, right? Uh, the Power of Motivation. And one of the speakers in the book, right, was saying that, you know, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, well, number one, we don't want to lose anything, right? And I was like, oh, you're right. No, I want to gain. You know what I mean? So instead of I want to lose weight, I weigh 150 pounds. This is what I weigh. And let me tell you something. The power of affirmations and the power of your words, because you can speak life and death through your words, right? If you say it enough, you will believe it. 
which is why the change comes from within love. You have to reprogram your mind and do a shift and to perspective shift 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 so we're going from point a to point b and sometimes you really have to go from a to z okay sometimes you really have to change the whole game around right and so every time you think a negative thought you have to replace it with a positive affirmation you have to you have to if you want to make the changes for you to be the best you it starts with you, love, okay? That inner dialogue. Mm-hmm. No more self-sabotaging. No more speaking negatively to yourself. No, because we love ourselves. Yes, we do. And so, yes, I am amazing. I am strong. I am confident. I am capable. I can handle any and everything that comes my way. Why? Because I am a winner and I win. Mm-hmm. In the face of difficulties, I find opportunities. I know that it's working for me. It is. And it's working for you as well. And you have to say these things until you really believe it. Okay. You have to say it so much that you kill all seeds of doubt. Like you just really uprooted it. Got all the weeds of doubt up and out your brain. Get it out your mind so you can have a fresh start and do things differently. Yeah. Because that change from within mm -hmm, will be reflected on the outside. Yeah. So now that you have stepped the game up for yourself, you don't raise the standard for yourself. Listen, those around you, they don't have a choice but to either step their game up or go away. Okay. Why? Because we are removing everything that is not for us, for our highest good. Yeah. So I do hope that you have an amazing day. If any of this resonated with you, please comment, please share. And know that everything is working for you and the change begins with you. You got this, okay? You can handle it. Mm -hmm. You didn't came this far. Don't quit now. You'll miss the best part. Have a wonderful day.